welcome to Knack Tack 910. Order of Operations. Order of Operations is a set of math rules that tells us which math operations, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division to do first. But why do we even need rules? Can't we just do them in the order I like? Hmm, that's a good question. Let's take an example for both of us to solve in different ways. Let's see if we end up with the same answer. Done deal! Let's do it! Find the answer for this. 3 times 2 plus 2. First, I would do 3 times 2, and that would give me 6. So 6 plus 2 will give me 8. Do you want to try the other way? I want to add first instead of multiplying, because it's easy. 3 times 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2 equals 4, 3 times 4 equals 12. After adding 2 plus 2, which is 4, then I multiply this, 4 by 3, which is equal to 4 times 3 equals 12? Hmm. So, which one of these two answers do you think is right? We just chose operations in different order, and we get different answers. This is confusing. Maybe I should have followed the rules, as you said. Will you help me understand the different orders of operation, please? Of course. If we follow the order of operations, we will all end up with the same answer, always. First is parentheses, next is exponents, then division, then multiplication, and then addition, and lastly, subtraction. To remember this easily, it's usually called the Pedmas rule. First letters of these operations. Let's look into a few examples for a better understanding of each of these rules. 5 plus 4 times 2. Here, in this example, we have two operations, addition and multiplication. Here, we also have parentheses, too. So we need to do that part first. In parentheses, we have 4 times 2, which is 8. Now this becomes 5 plus 8, which gives us 13. 5 plus 4 times 2 gives us 13. Simple, right? We always get the same answer if we follow this order of operations. Try solving this. 2 plus 5 times 3. Here we have two operations, addition and multiplication. Now that we have the order of operations, we have to do multiplication before addition. 5 times 3 equals 15. And then we add 2 to 15, which gives us 17. 2 plus 5 times 3 equals 17. Here, try this. 3 plus 6 plus 2 squared minus 2 times 4 divided by 2. First is parentheses. So, 3 plus 6 is 9, and 2 times 4 is 8. So, 9 plus 2 squared minus 8 divided by 2. Next is exponents. So, 9 plus 4 minus 8 divided by 2. Now, division. 9 plus 4 minus 4. Then, addition and subtraction. So, 13 minus 4 gives us 9. See? That's why I always say, math is easy and fun when you know your concepts, with just a little practice. <laughs>